Coming up on Tech Talk, I'm going to do a quick unboxing and a review of the first few days that I've been using my iPhone 8 Plus and tell you why I went from my 6S Plus to the 8 Plus and it's coming up right now on Tech Talk. Like every Apple product, they do come well packed. And with this one over the six that I'm replacing, the only difference is that the um, you don't have an earphone jack, so they give you that little hookup to the lightning connector to the earphone jack. And of course, it has the lightning connector and the power to USB. And of course it comes with the Apple stickers and the documentation. The glass is nice, it's very smooth front and back. And there's no more script at the bottom. A few reasons why I went to the, uh, the 8 Plus and didn't wait for the 10. First of all, I don't like the 10 uh, being the full screen, not having no more home button. So now, if you want to go to the home screen, simply swipe up from the bottom. Uh, I like the fact that the 8 has the uh, A11 chip, just like the 10. Um, I don't think if Jobs was still around, that would he let that happen to be inconsistent across the product line. But, you know, whatever. Um, didn't go to the 7 because for 200 hours more, you get the 8, you get the, uh, the bigger chip, and um, just some of the, uh, the different things, the, the difference between the 8 and the 6. The differences are, first of all, the 8 over the 6 is it's water and dust resistant. It has a A11 processor instead of the A9. Two cameras where the six has one. It has the, the two cameras with the zoom. It has 12 megapixel camera opposed to the eight on the six. It had, you can get it in 256 gigabytes where the six only came in 128. Um, it has a 1080 front facing camera where the six had a 720. I do like the glass, it is nice and shiny, of course you still have to use a case. I did buy a wireless charging and I'll do a full review on that later. Um, so really those are the basic things. I figured if I didn't like the 10, which I don't, and the 7 was a couple hundred dollars more to get the 8, so that's pretty much why I did it. Now I've used it for like 4 or 5 days and um, performance is great. Uh, right before I received my 8, I did um, upgrade my 6 to OS 11, and it seemed to function fine on there. I don't see anything being any f real fast performance better on the 8 over the 6. Um, maybe LTE, LTE internet seems a little bit faster. Um, but everything else seems about pretty much the same. So if you are really want the 10, then I would hold out, not get the 8. And if you have a 6 and um, it's working fine, I don't see no reason to get the 8. And um, if you have the 7, there's really definitely no reason to, to upgrade and wait for the next generation. But uh, I hope this helps some people make a decision. Um, I'm kind of glad I did because of everything I've been reading, they put such a powerful chip in these for future, to make it a little bit future proof. So it should last three or four years, I'm hoping. So um, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time.